what's up? All right, welcome back to next lesson music. What we just did was something romantic between yes. us, right? Hey, <laughs> hold up. Pause. I'm just kidding. Well, what we did was something uh very romantic. Well, it was called like R and B ish, right? Yeah. Or like a slow jam. But that's our today's lesson for you. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> 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 looking at. The- <laughs> ah, bad, 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 bad. So welcome back. So, but first, before uh, we get to the lesson, uh, uh, like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications. All right. So first, we want to talk about R and B, right? So uh, he 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 has his own beats, you know, lo-fi stuff. You could check. Them. <laughs> so tell us what is like R and B, like low or or chill or chill, like just chill group. What is? That? Um, for me, R and B is uh, it's. I, I feel like it's uh, kind of like soulful music. Have you ever heard soulful music? Mm-hmm. It sounds. Uh, it has a bunch of like uh, seven chords and minors, especially because um, it just like you could practically use any chord, but it's the way you uh, is the feeling you put into it when you play it, mm-hmm. and so it just uh, the feeling you put into it. So it's more slow. You uh, you never really hear a fast R and B uh, track. Um, but they're all slow and they all have like a really like chill uh, feel to it, and I uh, I think that's how that's my best way to describe R and B. So when you mean by by a slow feel or a chill feel, what does or putting that feeling? What do you mean exactly? Because uh, for me, uh, when it, when it comes to like having that feeling, it's like uh-huh. you're having that intimate connection. But yeah. it's like it's like obviously music is a language, right? You communicate yes. to someone, you know. It's like. Like if I'm if I'm angry with you, right? I'm be like, bro, like the, the the intensity of my 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 vocal like uh-huh. range, you know, increases. Now if I if I feel like, hey, you did something for me, you know, I feel like, hey, bro, that was sick, bro. You know what I mean? That type of like like language, you know. Yeah. So R and B is like that, you know. It depends on what type of feel, but usually we like to think about the positive type of a uh, music, yeah. right? So uh, yeah, we want to show you some chords. It's gonna be a very simple lesson, but uh, but if you uh, but the chords that we're gonna be teaching, it's all about the progressions and scales. So if you haven't checked, uh, if you don't know, you can check out uh, our other videos, right? Yes. So you guys can learn. All right, next. So we're gonna teach you four types of progressions, right? But the last one, I'm like, oh yeah. You know? <laughs> so so first, so we're, <laughs> so we're gonna do we're gonna be on the scale of D. All right, D. So we know D, right? We, well, if you guys check out our other video about the major scales, right? So we're gonna learn about the uh, well, we're gonna learn about the D major. So we're gonna learn about the, the progressions. But the first progression is called is one six three. All right. So one six three. So we're on D major scale. So D E F G A B C and then D, right? So we have D, which is the first one, mm-hmm. and the six. What will be the six? D E F sharp G A and B what? B if the six is is the minor it will be B what? That. <laughs> be I don't know. B minor. I, I'm making them nervous. B minor, yeah. right? So the and the third, right? So we got first. We got the first uh, D major, six mi- B minor, and then the third it will be F sharp minor, right? So remember what he said in the beginning was, was like this uh, minor sevens and major sevens. So if you if you don't know which one are those. Uh, check, click right here. <laughs> Just go check out all our videos. Check out like all right our videos. Now, bro. <laughs> all right. So the first one, we got D, right? Yeah. So we got D. D major seven, right? Let me see. It. Let me put something like very beautiful, just to give that texture, you know, that little salt, <laughs> that fine on the foot. All right. So, so we got the first one, right? So we got one, which is D major seven. Okay. Next one is the six, which is B minor, right? It sounds good already, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we got the third, which is F sharp minor. So uh, and obviously, I'm gonna teach you certain certain ways to do it, right? And then the regular F minor. So in total, we got this. All right, so what did I do there, right? Uh-huh. So obviously we got the regular D major seven, right? And then we got B minor, right? All sevens, right? And then F sharp minor seven. Yes. Now, what 
within these progressions, you could do very different variations of chords. You could do the major nine, uh, all these crazy chords. But the, the thing is that the progressions are there. So we got the one, six, and three. All right. So one more time. I'm in, I'm in love already. All right. But all right. So. So yeah, we got the one, six, three, right? So you mentioned something about feeling. Can you mention what I did right now? Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not goofing around, but I actually love love music. But uh, explain about that feeling one more time. So uh, I was, I'm gonna feel it one more time. I'm gonna look ridiculous. Ready? Let me see if I could. You know, I have my hat down. <laughs> like it starts off with like soft but then like uh throughout it it's like there's a there's like this this one punch and you like you feel it and it's like and so um for example we were doing mm -hmm. it's like you're doing so when it starts out soft but then like there's that one punch and it's like um uh, i feel like it's like I said, it depends how you play it because there's different ways to play it. Like if you were to play just all soft, but then it so it just feels calm. But if you were to play it how you played it, you feel like I don't know it's just more intense and it's more um, intimate. Intimate. There you go. <laughs> I didn't. I couldn't find that word. But it's it's more intimate. And so I feel and. Like there's a way different uh, feel like if you were to just strum it. Mm. So there's different ways that you could play this progression. Oh, that's true. Mm. So you could either finger pick it, you could strum it, and it's just there's so many different ways you could play that chord progression, and it just um, it just gives you more uh, variety, and um, that's why I like R&B because there's a lot of ways you could play it, and it's, even though it's the same chords, it sounds different every single time. Yeah. So, uh, I, uh, I'm assuming that the audience are asking, what is R&B? What does it mean? So, it, it means rhythm and blues. There's different yeah. definitions. There's the bad mentality of it, right? I'm not going to say it. And there's the, the, the normal one is rhythm and blues. Why is it rhythm and blues? Because if you notice in the intro that we did before, um, you know, he was doing his, uh, the, the, R, the, 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 R, the, the, the rhythm, right? <laughs> So, but when I was soloing, right, I was uh, I was getting into it. I was going all around the place, but it was giving that type of blues feeling, right? Yeah. So I was doing like honestly, I was doing some kind of time skills, right? So like, right? So I was getting that like that type of pentatonic skill. So so rhythm and blues, right? So uh, if you guys know R and B has different varieties of, of styles like in the sense of, of how to play right yeah. so he mentioned something i like the way uh the fact that also when i was playing i was playing with my fingers right so it's, I, I like to use my fingers when it comes to rhythm and blues right yeah. r&b because it gives that very a variant of a variety mm -hmm. right right and when you use a pick yeah you know it's it's okay you can still do the same thing but it's gonna be like just one pick right Or you could do the rhythm, right? Right? Alright, next one. You want to explain the other one? Which is, we're going to learn about the one and four. You want to explain that one? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this chord progression, um, it starts off in, in D7. Uh, seven. All the way to the uh, tenth fret in uh, G major seven, and so uh, there's different ways to play this, but if it just it's just uh, it just repeats itself, so it just goes.
and yeah it's uh, very self-explanatory it's just those two chords and you can make a lot with those two chords um, but it's a it's a really fun chord progression because it's simple and it's really easy to just freestyle if you really want to like just um, you know if you want to get into freestyling into like blues or just learning how to like um, like connect with uh, with your own with like chords I think those two uh, I, I've used those two a lot, mm -hmm. and I, I, that's probably one of my favorite chord progressions for rhythm and blues. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, exactly. So, if you're if you noticing, yeah, we're playing like very like slow. Like the rhythm is like like it sounds sad, right? For those that don't know or rhythm and blues, it, it may sound like like kind of like depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, right? And there's other people that interpret inter, interpret Interpre this, you know, like, oh wow, so beautiful, I could sleep all day with this, right? <laughs> there's other people that, that, that cry, you know, that cry. I was crying right now, you know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, so it all depends. Uh, so R and B, it's like that rhythm. You give that, you give the rhythm. You, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be necessarily has to be like very uh, slow. It, it could be fast, like. <laughs> You choose the rhythm. You choose. Yes. You make. You're the creator. All right. You're the creator. All right. <laughs> all right. So you choose uh, what rhythm that you want. So you feel free. So we got the first one, which is one six three, mm -hmm. right? The other one is one, one and four. four. All right. So the uh, the next one. You want to ex uh, uh, explain the other one, which is the six two three and four. So I'm looking at the computer, right? <laughs> so six, right? Which is the uh, uh, will be B minor. Right, the two will be F, F minor. Uh, my bad, my bad. Will be a uh, E minor, and then the third will be F sharp minor, and then the four will be R, R G. All right, you want to carry that one? So what we did is B minor, E minor, F sharp minor, and G major seven. <laughs> nice, sounds good. So that one is very, it's simple too, you know. Uh, so yeah, exactly what he just did. It looked very simple. Or you could go back as well. So uh, we could do G, right? F sharp, E. Nice. So we could go, so what we said, six, two, three, and four, or you could go back. Four, three, two, six, right? You could do those dynamics. So, yeah, so what he did was slow, right? If you go fast, right, it sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, you could do variations, right? Uh, just just to get out of the way, he could do uh, when when it's like a when it's on you when you're on the third, the uh, second and third, you could do a chromatic, right? To go to descent or ascent, right? So. So check out an artist called Alex Daniel. So so. <laughs> Alright, next. Ready? So one more time, last one, right? So we got six. Alright, next. The last but not least. Alright, I'm excited to teach this one. Alright, Peter is gonna be a little bit challenging. Alright. So the, the, la the last one is gonna be six. One, four, and then six, but that six, uh, there's a three, We're a typo, typo, typo. It's all right, so that's one, it's gonna be six, one, four, three, but that three is instead of being a minor, it's gonna be a dominant seven, plus there's gonna be a flat five on, all right. Man, my brain hurt already. Mm. All right, so so first one, right? So it's gonna be a six. So it's so six is the B minor, right? And then 
and the one it will be D major seven. And then the fourth will be uh, G, ma G major 7. And then the last but not least, the three uh, dominant 7 flat 5. And then we go back to B minor. We got that. So you guys can learn. So what are the, the, the figures on, on that one? So we got six, right? Six minus. And then one, right? And then right, uh, the G major seven. That variation on the on the E string, E, e, e position. And then we got this one. And then we got uh so F uh F dominant with the flat five. So that one. So pretend you're doing the F minor, right? If this camera angle could see this finger, right? All right. So we remember the uh, F minor. So just the, the simple thing you can do, just these two with the third and fourth finger, just bring it down to the third uh, to the third fret, right? And and these two fingers stay, all right? And then B minor. Let me put some. On that, man. I want to cry. You want to cry? Oh. Cry with me. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Something like this. We, there's very there's much more right on yeah. R&B you could do so but we only gave you four progressions so we, let's do a, re a review right so we got the one six three the other one is one and four which is just repeats by itself right and then we got two, uh, six two three and then four and the last one but not least my favorite six one four three dominant seven flat five all right but anything else you want to mention no nope. I think that's it for today all right, that's it for today. If you need any help on what the heck we talked about, check out our other videos right here on the link, either right here or right here. And uh, come back next time, and thank you for checking us out. Later.